Hello there and a very, very warm welcome. Now I know it's cold and horrible outside and it's mid-January and it's all a bit depressing, but here at Planet Cruise we are really going to cheer you up tonight. We have got some amazing offers this show and all I'm going to say is if you're even just a little bit interested in booking a cruise, maybe you've never you know, been on a cruise before, maybe you've never booked with Planet Cruise, just give us a call on the free phone number. All of our cruise experts are there to help you and to guide you through and choose the right cruise for you. Oh, and we have got some exclusive offers this hour as well. Now, our wonderful Gemma is with us from Planet Cruise. Nice to see you, Gemma. Nice to see you as well. I, and you're right, what a great time of year to book a holiday. Isn't it? Absolutely. You need it. I think you need something to look forward to, That's right. And I was talking to some lovely ladies in the green room here at Ideal World just now, and they were talking about cruises, and one lady in particular was saying that ever since she started going, she's never looked back, and she'd never want to do anything <laughs> else now. Well, I'm about to embark on my 21st cruise this week, actually. I know. Um, <laughs> now, um... Gemma, for anyone that's never booked with Planet Cruise yes. before, what, why, why should we? Why are they so good? Okay, well, first of all, they're award-winning, so that immediately speaks volumes. Um, our cruise es experts are so knowledgeable, and if you pick up the phone number, which is free, you can literally make your holiday bespoke. That's what we're all about. So we're about tailor-making a holiday that's good for you. So if you saw a cruise today and you thought, oh, I'd love to add on a couple of nights at the beginning or, or the end or take the nights in the hotel away, we can do all that for you. Make it um, hassle-free. Free and, and a great deal. And I was looking at customer feedback, it's around about 96%. 96 positive, which yes, is fantastic. Absolutely. And, and Planet Cruise are the biggest independent cruise agent, aren't they, in the absolutely. UK? Absolutely, and we've been going for 10 years, you know, so really trustworthy, reliable, um, great deals, um, and all your holidays protected. Talking of which, um, we've got six cruises coming up. One of them was reduced in price in the last 24 hours, That's which right. is superb. And we are going to be joined by a special guest from Carnival. Luke's going to be telling you about an amazing Caribbean cruise as well. But we're going to start off with Cruise and Maritime on board the Magellan. It's their latest ship, their latest addition to their fleet. Oh, and did I mention this one's reduced in price to uh, that amazing price on the screen there. Wow. In fact... And it says five four nine. Can we do better than that? Do you think? I think. Do you know what? I think I'm very very last minute we might try and even bring that okay. down a little bit. Well, we'll see what we can do. But it is an amazing price. I think you'll agree. Five four nine. That's yeah. already fantastic. And we um, we're going to give you a real treat taking around the fjords. But before we do, cruise maritime. They they're a great British company, aren't they? Absolutely, they really, really are. And this is a brand new ship as well. This is going to be her maiden season. So, you know, I always think that's quite nice. All the cabins will be yeah. brand new, it'll be gleaming. Oh, so well, that's we have a look then. Yeah. So here we go. As you say, it is a British company and um, very, very sort of trusted, very popular. And in fact, we had a deal like this, didn't we, last week? And it just absolutely flew. Um, so you are going to be selling on the Magellan. It is an adult-only ship as well. So nice for people that just absolutely know they want guaranteed peace and quiet. You're going to get it on this ship. Um, as you can see... She is a beautiful looking ship. You will have some fantastic entertainment and some absolutely delicious food. And the staff are so friendly, so attentive and, uh, attentive and courteous. Lots of space on deck. She is maybe smaller than some of the really, really big ships that we talk about sometimes on this show. And because of that, you've got a nice, intimate atmosphere. And also, it does mean that the Magellan can sail into um, certain ports that other great big ships might not be able to visit. The thing about cruising is, in the morning, you can get up and decide exactly what you want to do. Maybe you will head to the spa, or maybe you'll feel like being entertained, or just chilling out in a little corner of the ship that you found for yourself. You will dine so, so well, and of course, all your entertainment and food are included in the price as well. So you're really going to have an amazing time, and the fjords at this time of year, as you know are spectacular. They, they really are. Now, price-wise, you are getting a, a saving up to 40% at 549. I said, can we help you even further? We can. Deposits start at just £150. And we've, we've got to give you a great price on the single as well at 759. So, we, yes, we, we're going to make this really special for this show. Um, and, and what we're going to talk about the fields, but what I loved was the... Just the tranquility, the relaxation, the beautiful scenery. It was yeah. amazing. I think when you go to the fjords, you know, um, I, I, I can't really think of an equivalent, but in the UK, if you've been to maybe Cumbria or the Lake District, it's that absolutely spectacular scenery. 
even more so in this part of the world. And you are going to be sailing from Tilbury, so no worries about taking all your luggage with you. You've got a day at sea to relax, and then on day three you will uh, be sailing into Eid Fjord here in beautiful oh. Norway. And immediately you get that sense, don't you, of where you are. I mean, it's a phones off situation. It's all about just totally relaxing. Take your cameras. At this time of year, the weather's going to be beautiful. You'll have so much sunlight and fresh air and peace and quiet. And from Eid Fjord, which is a spectacular start to this trip, you are then going to be sailing to Flam, which uh, one thing it's really famous for here is the railway. Yeah, isn't I went it? on that. Did ship. you go oh, on it? I loved yeah. It, yeah. What was so so nice is that you know not only is the scene really picturesque, the, the train itself is really kind of cute and, and quaint. Yes. Um, and the whole experience, you know, you just look out of the window and you do see so much. And I went in May, so you know, at the beginning of the journey it was kind of like spring-like, but then mm. as we went up. Uh, you actually saw See snow. All the snow. Yeah, you might on even the, still get a little bit, you know, snow higher up here at the beginning of June here. But honestly, it was a truly wonderful experience. You've got to do the Flom Railway. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you, you really must. You really must. And I think anybody that lives in a sort of more urban environment or in a big city, this is going to be such a wonderful cruise for you. So after Flom, you're then going to sail to Bergen, which has got so much character as well. It's a stunning port. As you sail in, you're going to see all these picturesque coloured houses. In fact, you can see a lot of them there. All along the coastline, so much character. You must visit, there's like a little fish market and you can go wandering around on foot, which is really nice as well. And then in the evening, it's so pretty. If you look there, it sort of twinkles. It's like something out of a fairy tale. Honestly, I, I, you know, I, I know that, you know, if you've thought about going to see the fjords, I know that it would be even more spectacular than imagine. We do think it's busy already, actually. And don't forget as well, just a deposit of £150 per yeah, person. That, that really great helps. single price of uh, 759 Call centre is always open to up until 11 o'clock in the evening and first thing at 8 o'clock as well. So, you know, very experienced cruise experts there, ready to take your calls on that free phone number, don't forget, which is 0800 840 1088 as well. Um, in terms of what's included, we have brought the price right down on this one. We are saving you up to 40%. So it's 549 uh, that's the lead price there. Uh, you can be one of the first to sell. Obviously, this is an adult-only ship as well. Yeah. And, and Gemma, it... I know you're mum, but there are times <laughs> that you like to be without the children. Absolutely. And I think if people, you know, are sort of older and their children are bigger or, you know, you haven't got kids, it is quite nice to know that you're going to be in absolute peace and quiet. <laughs> um, and don't forget, that single special for this show right now is 759 um, which is really good actually. Fantastic and at this time of year and again when you think that you've got all your food included and all your entertainment you know if you're ready to cost everything up it's an incredible price. And actually cruises that you know if you are single they're such a great safe uh, and friendly environment. Oh very very much so and the lovely thing as well is that you can be as sociable or as anti-social as you want to be. By that I mean if you are there to go you know, meet people for yeah. dinner, you can do that. But if you didn't want to do that, you're not forced to do anything, are you? No, you're really not. I, no. And just look, I mean, I, every time I go on a cruise ship, and so I'm very lucky, I'll be taking my 21st cruise this week. <laughs> um, that is ridiculous. I, I, I am really hooked to the cruise industry. I love it. And it's the, the food, the service is so superior to any land holiday that I'd ever experienced. I think it's just so relaxing as well. It is. And it's about sort of, you know, park your car, dump that, you know, get on the ship, because obviously here you're leaving from Tilbury. You don't have to think about anything. You've got no, with this cruise particularly as well, if you are someone that doesn't like sitting around in airports and all that kind of thing, because a lot of people don't like no. flying, you know, you don't have to. Just get on the ship and off you go. Now, we've still got five cruises to come. And our next cruise is with MSC and it's over to Dubai mm. and the Emirates. And I tell you what, if you're looking for, for winter sun, we're looking at the temperatures, you know, we're talking mid to, to late 20s. Oh, I mean, late, I think, so. you know, as much as one can guarantee good weather, it's you're going to get sunshine, yeah, aren't you? You really yeah. are. Um, anyway, let's also just give you a taster of the MSC experience. Now, first of all, I always think of the word opulence when we look at their ships, don't you? Oh, absolutely. They're really glamorous, the MSC ships, I find. You've got that kind of wonderful, sophisticated, opulent, as you say, decor that's just gorgeous and then you mix that up with really good hospitality and service and you've got a great ambience on board um, the food is a really important part of any holiday but particularly a cruise and on MSC you've got a great mix the spa 
stunning absolutely gorgeous uh, for me personally that's a really important part of it it's about the only time that I get to maybe go and do something like have a massage at which point they're like gosh you're very knotty <laughs> and I'm like that's because I haven't been since my last holiday <laughs> oh work away yeah but then you do really relax and then of course on here if you are taking small children they are so well looked after which is brilliant for people like me again I can be in the spa they can be being looked after and like I said, the food's so important. On MSC is a real Mediterranean influence. Um, gorgeous, very Italian menus, but international food. Um, amazing expert chefs provide the menus. And you can see every little detail is thought about. I mean, look at that theatre. That's like being like and, Las Vegas. And, and, and I have said that the, the theatre and entertainment is a big part of, of why I love cruising, because you... You know, it's, it's such a lovely part of the evening to see these great performances and not yeah. pay anything for them. I know, I know, it is so, so yeah. nice. And it means that if you're not in the mood for it as well, you don't have to go. And then when you do, it's all on your doorstep. Now, I'm just thinking about the price of this one. Bear in mind you've got um, return flights to Dubai. How much would they cost? <laughs> I, know, I, know. I know. They are included. So it we are going to fly you from London to Dubai. Uh, we also have flights from Manchester to Glasgow, just ask the uh, cruise experts, they'll talk you through those. And then you're transferred to port and you've got a seven night cruise, haven't you? That is right. And then you are off for seven nights cruising and the first port of call that you'll be sailing into is Abu Dhabi. Um, so straight away, you're going to know that you're in, you know, that this part of the world, the Emirates. I mean, look at this kind of landscape. You've got these big skyscrapers, but you've also got the Grand Mosque and it all sort of intertwines. So you can duck in of this amazing culture, but you've also got all these sort of wonderfully modern things on your doorstep as well. So so go and get you know a look at the Emirates Palace because it is absolutely stunning. All the Grand Mosque, all the museums, etc. But if you didn't feel like that, you've got um, the largest indoor theme park in the world in the shape of Ferrari World, which is quite <laughs> fun. You could go and have a look. That, yeah, it? it's pretty amazing when you look it up as well. You could ride the F1 track. Um, you could go shopping. You could do. Oh, there's so much to do. Um, and then you've got a day at sea, which will be wonderful because you'll be on deck sunbathing with a cocktail. And then on day five, you are going to sail into Khor Al Fakan. And at the port entrance, straight as soon as you get off the ship, you'll find like a little fish market and you can wander around. It's only about a 20 minute walk to the centre of the town. And then you could walk along the Corniche and the beach. Then we're off to Muscat and Oman. Um, the Corniche here could not be in a more beautiful setting. And the old part of the town is surrounded by these mountains that you can just see here in the background. They're sort of terracotta coloured, which is shown very nicely in that photograph. Really, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you for that. It was good timing. <laughs> um, but really, really beautiful. And then you've got like a 16th century hilltop fort as well at the other end. So again, you've got loads of sights to see. But you might want to just go and lie on the beach or go to the soup or go and look at the mountains, there's so much to do. Then, after that, we are sailing to Kassab, also in Amman, and this is where some stunning fjords are. I mean, we had the Norwegian fjords before. You kind of don't expect to have fjords in this part you of the really world. Don't, do you? No, you don't. But they are there, um, and this is why they call it the Norway of Arabia, actually. So incredible landscape, very beautiful. So you could do some snorkeling or some scuba diving here. But again, the old fort there to explore. Or you could even do a cruise in one of the very old Arabic uh, small boats as well. When I, you know, like a little, a little cruise. Um, then day eight, you're going to sail to Dubai, and you've got an overnight on yeah. board. Yeah, see, I think that's really quite special, don't you? Yeah, it's a really nice way to end your holiday actually, because there's so much to see and do in Dubai. And actually, it's quite nice as well when you're just um, anchored in port and you get the beautiful sunset and all of that. It is nice to see a port by day and night, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. really, really is. And again, Dubai is one of those places now that so many people are wanting to visit. I had two of my great friends went there last year and just absolutely loved it. Of course, a big attraction is the weather. You know, I think we're all craving a bit of vitamin D at the moment. Oh, I <laughs> You're about to go and get some. January in the UK is one of the most depressing months, isn't I've it? I've got to say, it's pretty bad. Yeah, so Dubai, great fun. You you know, and because you've got the night, uh, the overnight, you could go and do some desert camping if you were feeling really adventurous.
tourists, or you can go and visit the Burj Khalifa or the Burj Al Arab Hotel. There's so many sites to see. And, and all the cruise liners are really good at you know helping you with tours and, and getting everything organised for you. Absolutely. And actually, if you're phoning us up at Planet Cruise today as well on the free phone number, please do ask. If you're booking a holiday tonight, then we can also sort out some excursions because we can do really good prices on them too. And it's a free phone number, don't forget. Any queries, any questions, give us a call right now. 0800 840 1088. Um, imagine how good you're going to feel if you do if you book a cruise right now. Oh, we lift your spirits. Hey, we, we should point out that that lead date by the way. It says the um, 8th of January. There are actually several dates at that price: uh, 11th of December, 1st of January, so that's New Year's Day. 8th of Jan, the 15th of Jan. Um, and some great prices on the 22nd as well. So we, we, you know, we really have got fantastic prices right the way through December uh, this year and January of next year as well. Do you want to see that ship again now? Because she does look stunning, doesn't she? Oh, absolutely. And and I always think that um, you know, when you ha if you haven't cruised before, that when you first step on board a cruise ship it's unbelievable it's a different world these are floating resorts yeah it's very they? very exciting actually because once oh. you because you know anyway you, you don't even have your bags uh, well depending because they will take charge of them um at the port and then you just stroll on and explore it's, don't you it's so exciting honestly, i'm still like a child when i get on board a cruise ship I'm, i do a recce and i just go around and yeah you know i want to see everything and yeah. all the cruise ships are different but generally speak well they're all beautiful they really are and so well kept and maintained as well so price wise uh, we have got exceptional value set across dates there uh, from December of this year right the way through to March uh, 2016. Now, if you are, now, we've actually got some great news on this one. We're saying a free cheers drinks package when booking a balcony above. We're actually going to say Ocean View by now. So an Ocean View above, you'll get a drinks package, and it's a really good one. I'll get Gemma to talk to that in a second. Return flights as well. We can also provide those from Manchester or Glasgow. Just call for details. And I, I've always wanted to get away for Christmas or New Year, and they're really good prices for that time of Amazing. year. Amazing. Like you say, I would really say, have a look at how much just flights are at that yeah, time of year. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> um, so there's all the different dates, all the different prices, of course, as well. We have sold out the single already for um, the 22nd of Jan, but we have got availability on everything else at the moment. And I did mention, look at the difference between inside and ocean view. We're only talking about mm, £150 on some of the dates. The drinks package that you'll get is fantastic. I know. I mean, and actually, if you uh, like to have a nice glass of wine with your dinner, it's soon going to add up. And if there's two of you, it's going to be a bottle, isn't it? So unlimited consumption of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages, including bottled water, uh, for lunch and dinner. And of course, that includes your mineral water. You're going off to a very hot place. You're probably going to be drinking quite a lot of liquids, aren't you? Yeah. Draft beer as well. It's, all it's so worth getting so, the ocean view. So no dry January next year if you're booking this no. one. No, mm, no not on no, holiday. No, no, not on a cruise. <laughs> Uh, now, um, we have got a fantastic offer next. Something really special happened on this one. Um, you probably can see the price I'm thinking that's really, really low. In the last 24 hours, the price came right down. You are right now one of the first ladies and gents to see that price with Princess. It's literally just come down in the last few hours and we know this one is going to go so don't this is the one that you don't wait for because the price has come right down right now and what's the deposit on this one <laughs> it's no hang on 50 pounds 50 pounds i was thinking that i was thinking there's a one missing there or a two no it's a 50 pound deposit there will be so many of you going for this one and if you haven't cruised with Princess, they're an amazing company they've got uh, an outstanding reputation and here's john from planet cruise to tell you more Princess Cruises first set sail in 1965 with a single ship cruising to Mexico. Today the line has grown to become the third largest cruise line in the world. Princess is known for being a bit of an industry innovator because over the years they've introduced so many new features and experiences on board their ships that have been so popular other cruise lines are now copying them. Among them are affordable balconies on many of the ships outside cabins, as well as 24-hour dining, and a choice of dining venues and flexible dining times. Princess ships also debuted features such as Movies Under the Stars and the Sanctuary Adults Only Oasis. In the fitness center you'll find all the latest equipment, plus a range of classes including cycling, pilates, yoga, stretch and abs. 
but if chilling out and being pampered is more your thing, then you might want to head up here to the tranquil environment of the Lotus Spa. With a menu of dozens of calming and rejuvenating treatments, the Lotus Spa is guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your cruise. Throughout the day on your Princess Cruise, the chefs are busy preparing your next memorable meal. All bread, cakes and pastries are baked three times a day. All sauces are prepared by hand. Speciality restaurants include Sabatini's, Princess's signature Italian restaurant. The Crown Grill offers a variety of premium beef and seafood dishes. But tonight's formal night and I've decided to eat in the main restaurant. As I'm booked on any time dining, I can just turn up and eat at whatever time I like. Princess are known for their dynamic and exciting production shows with some of the largest casts at sea. Tonight we've got a 70s theme with Blame It on the Boogie. All shows are produced in-house and feature lively music and stunning choreography, featuring one of the largest casts at sea. As well as shows, you can enjoy a night of stand-up comedy, a game show, a sing-song in the piano bar, a romantic dance, or just a quiet night with friends in a lounge bar. Something completely different. How about a movie under the stars? It's a signature feature of all princess ships. And it's a great way to end the day. Oh, that's our John there from Planet Cruise. Now, remember, you are getting that price reduction if you book right now. It's just come down the last few hours. So, Gemma. No, right. no flying on this one. No flying. No. We are sailing from Southampton. So, ladies, pack whatever you want. And big toiletries as well. It's always <laughs> yeah. a joy. Loads of liquids. <laughs> um, so, we've got days two to four at sea, which is always really nice because that means you can just hang out on the ship and enjoy all the facilities. Then we arrive in Barcelona on day five, which I'm sure many of you will uh, be dying to go to if you haven't been already. So, you've got a day there to go and see the Sagrada Familia and all the sites. Day six, we're in Ajaxio in Corsica, which is really easily explored on foot, crammed with lovely restaurants, unusual shops, and such a pretty harbour. You'll see references to Napoleon everywhere. So then on day seven, we're sailing to Rome, beautiful Rome, the eternal city, one of my favourites. You've got the Vatican City, go and see the Sistine Chapel for real, live, painted by Michelangelo, so beautiful. And of course, the Colosseum is a must. You I, cannot go without seeing the Colosseum. I, I went to Rome in, in January, it was nice, but to go at the beginning of June, it's going to be fantastic. Oh, it'll be beautiful. Yeah. And then on to another beautiful Italian city, because you are sailing into Livorno, so you can go to Florence or Pisa from here, because both are easy to get to. Florence, as you can see there, absolutely stunning, full of art and beautiful sights. Or you can go the other way and go to Pisa and have a look at the very famous Leaning Tower, which again is a bit of a must. It really is very interesting. Day nine, you're going to sail to Marseille. Um, so in beautiful France, you've got a wonderful itinerary on this cruise. Um, you've got the old port, which is Marseille's main draw, dotted with boats of all shapes and sizes. You'll be mainly just kind of what, looking at all of those and fantasizing about which one you'd have if you were a million <laughs> Air. Um, little game I play. Um, day, <laughs> and then day um, 10, you've got at sea, and just those to rest. And are really special, aren't they? They are wonderful. You look forward to them. You just sunbathe. You know, like you do in a hotel. Sometimes you don't leave, do you? Just chill out by the pool. Then day 11, we are sailing to Gibraltar. So it's a fantastic itinerary. Really famous, of course, for the rock and for the crazy Barbary apes that you can see there. So you could even go to the apes' den and visit them. Um, get a little cable car as well up the famous rock. Couple more days at sea, so that by the time you sail back into Southampton on day 14, you are relaxed, you are tanned, you are happy, and your cruise is done. Uh, and you've, you'll be really happy now you just paid £849 and you're away <laughs> for nearly two weeks. I know. Uh, you know in, in, in June, you know, you sail on the 30th of May, you're there for the first couple of weeks in June. It is an amazing offer right now. The price has come down the last 24 hours. Very few people will probably know about this. You're going to be one of the first to get this at 849. It's an exclusive price reduction, reduced to the last 24 hours. Um, also, my advice would be, if you pre-stay at the Mian Valley Marriott, so if you actually stayed there the night before, you'll get free parking and port transfers, and it's only £75 per person. And you're, you're parking for nearly two weeks. 
would I probably, think that yeah. is, uh, so, well, also for me, it's peace of mind, because you know the car's all right. I know yeah. that sounds like a funny yeah. thing to say, but it's just all, all and organized. And you know you're not going to miss the cruise. And you get a good, <laughs> good breakfast in the morning as well. Um, and by the way, the original brochure price was over £500 more than this, so those of you that are really looking for deal this hour, Give us a call right now. And by the way, don't forget, uh, we, we also have two shows uh, every week. And we have a cruise show on Friday at 11 o'clock as well. So don't miss that one as well. Now, we also, we want you to know that you're in really safe hands with Planet Cruise. This is an award-winning company with years of experience. Everything is Atal and Abta protected. All of your overseas transfers are always included. A lot of other companies might add those on, by the way. Quality hand-picked hotels and flights with world-renowned airlines as well. So, you know, everything is always really, really superb with Planet Cruise. And... Uh, don't forget, multi-award winning as well. Now, we have got a great website as well. I forgot to say, please go onto our website, planetcruise.co.uk, and say all you need to do is go on there. It's a brand new website. You can uh, not just pick the cruises that we've featured on the show, but we can find you any cruise with any company. We can make the deals bespoke as well. But we are joined by another great guest right now, and... This is the fabulous Luke who's been with us before. Hey, Sean, you're, you're always right. very smart, Luke. Well, so I always you know to dress up when you're on the show. I think it's because I, every time I think, shall I dress down, shall I dress not? And I think my mum's watching. <laughs> I should probably make a bit of effort. So. Well, you're always Absolutely. looking at me, Thank and you. One of the reasons we love you being on the show is you bring us some fantastic deals yeah, with Carnival. We try. Both Absolutely. You. I mean, like I say, uh, well, I say every time I'm here, Igloo, uh, Planet Cruise, and the whole company are one of our biggest agents uh, and we always try to give them the best deals try to give them some sort of exclusivity uh, and you've already mentioned it today the, the way they can package up and really tailor make the yeah. holiday to each customer adding more nights on taking them off flights everything else it, it really does make it great for the customers um, and and carnival i mean this is a company again with such a great reputation yeah i mean industry. the biggest cruise line in the world i mean, I mean and yeah. for no reason it's uh it is incredible. I mean, I've been working in cruise for, for near on 10 years. And honestly, like yourself, I've probably done well, 15 to 20 cruises now. And this is the only company that I've ever paid my own money, if you want that, to go on. <laughs> where normally I'm escorting people and things. And it's so informal. It's so relaxed. It's so do what you want when you want. But it doesn't compromise on any of the quality. It's still a four-star brand with with absolutely fantastic facilities. And you know, when we say four four star in the cruise world, you know, it is, mm -hmm. is you know, compared to hotels, it's in my mind, it's five or six uh, yeah, star, uh, isn't it? Honestly, I've stayed in like some really top end like hotels all around the world, and no service and facilities and the staff, the food, anything has ever come close to any no. cruise line that I've ever been with. It's just impeccable. Um, now, the, the, the offer that you brought us for this show is a brilliant one because we're actually cruising round the Caribbean. Oh, well, I'll be there next week, but I forgot to mention that. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it's one of the best, it is one of the best cruises to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, look, if you're going to do the Caribbean, the best way to do it is on a cruise. I agree. Because why go, I always think with the Caribbean, if you're in a resort and you're on a sunbed, you buy a pool and you don't leave the resort, you could be anywhere. Like, yeah. if it's yeah. sunny and you're by a pool, you could be in Spain, you could be in France, you could be anywhere. Whereas in a cruise, you get to experience the whole Caribbean. So we'll take you to large Caribbean islands like Barbados on this cruise, to some of the smaller islands, like I believe we've got St. Kitts and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, as well, so you get to see the real Caribbean, in my opinion. Oh, and this is one of the most popular what, cruises that uh, you do. This in, really is. Honestly, in the UK market, this destination, this itinerary, is so, so popular. I mean, we're constantly uh, trying to find ways to, to make it even better for the UK customers. And one thing we've done for 2015, from March onwards, we brought a newer ship. Uh, with more facilities that's had our latest uh, well, refit Well, and talking of which, let's have a look. So yeah. we're going to be aboard the Carnival uh, Liberty, aren't yes. we? Yes. Uh, so this is a fantastic ship, just under 3,000 passengers. Uh, you've got loads and loads of fantastic facilities on board. Really is incredible. We've just spent, as a company, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars updating the fleet, which was already top of the range yeah. as it was. Uh, loads of new innovations on board. Uh, you've got fantastic restaurants, and it's just the atmosphere. Everyone is there to have a good time. The staff are so friendly. You've got fantastic bars. I mean, the Alchemy Bar on Carnival Liberty, some of the best cocktails I've ever had anywhere in the world. 
I would uh, recommend you and try you're speaking them. from experience. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Vast experience on this issue. Also, uh, I think Carnival have got a real reputation for being a really fun yeah. Yeah, yeah, line, haven't they? We are. We're the fun brand. We, we really we bring relaxed, atmosphere, like atmospheric cruising to the masses. And it's kind of like if you've always been put off a cruise or because of the formality or because of the stuffiness that you think, you're not going to get any of that on board no. Carnival. It really is the informal, fun, relaxed cruise line. It's like being at a resort that just happens to be at sea. I mean, yeah. it is... With lots more to offer. Oh, so <laughs> honestly, I mean, I'm exactly the same as you. I've never stayed in a resort that even comes close to, to matching a cruise. You've got the water park on board. You've got countless different restaurants and bars. I mean, the drinks, the entertainment is incredible. I mean, honestly. Um, I think we're going to be really busy for this one, actually. Yeah. Really busy. Anyway, um, before you're even on that fabulous cruise... We're going to fly you over to Barbados and you're going to be staying in a fantastic hotel, a beach hotel, for three nights. And that is nice just to get you in the mood and the swing of yeah. things, isn't um, it? I was going to say. Well, that. absolutely wonderful. I mean, what's not to like? So you've got a nice sort of flight and you arrive and you can just chill out on the white sand. I've been to Barbados a few times. Yeah, you know it well, don't and you? And yeah. it's absolute heaven. It's exactly what you expect the Caribbean to be, what you dream of before you've ever been. Turquoise, beautiful warm water that laps at your feet, um, chilled out. The Bayesians are so lovely and friendly and, and but very chilled out. You know, you ask for a cocktail and at first you're still in kind of UK time. You're like, hurry up. And then <laughs> by the end of the holiday, you're as chilled out as them. It's wonderful. Um, just lovely atmosphere, loads to go and see and do. You can go and look at turtles or you can go to the botanical gardens. Of course, I think for me, it's about the beautiful beaches when you first yeah, get there. I agree. To be honest, agree. feeling the sand beneath your toes, having a rum punch. And actually, being able to swim in the sea and just have that lovely, you know, it's like it's hot bath, so isn't it? It's so warm, yeah. And it's yeah. that sea where you look down and it's so transparent. It's extraordinary. You see little fish swimming by you. Wonderful. But anyway. then, of course, we get on the wonderful yes. ship and the cruise begins after three days of that. You're on this amazing ship having so much fun and then you're going to sail on day five into St Lucia where I've also been to St Lucia my dad got married there when I was about 13 yeah really? it was just me and my sisters and my, my dad and my stepmom it was really fun oh, how lovely. yes it was wonderful my stepmom's called Sally and the, the lovely lady that married them called her silly <laughs> uh, never forgotten it and that was in St Lucia on a mountain and it is the most beautiful beautiful place and there's the famous pitons the big mountains up in the background it's just gorgeous so lush and then we are sailing into St. Kitts. And this is what you're saying, Luke. You know, you're on a cruise. Some people would go for a week in Barbados. Okay, yeah, yeah lovely. But here, you've already been to three Caribbean islands. And they're all so different, aren't they? Yeah, And exactly. I think this is where cruising really does come into its own and where someone like Planet Cruise and a product like Carnival, because you were saying three nights uh, in Barbados. Yeah. Planet Cruise, you could do more, you yeah, could do less, yeah. you could absolutely. do some at the end of the cruise, but absolutely getting to see such vast uh, differences in, in islands. Yeah, and I just think sailing from island to island uh, is going to be stunning as well. And only unpacking once. Yeah. Exactly. So St. Kitts is day six. Day seven, you're then sailing into Philipsburg and St. Martin. Again, a lovely different atmosphere again. I think just sailing on these Caribbean waters mm. as well, the turquoise, <laughs> beautiful I found St. Martin fascinating because one side's Dutch, one side's French. It's only about 26 miles across it. It's really, and you, you go from the Dutch to the French side, it's completely different. Yeah, totally different yeah. Um, uh, character and you've got amazing shopping actually in St. Martin as well on duty free um, very pretty though again you just by now you'll be so relaxed you might just want to flop on the beach and then on day 8 you're sailing to San Juan which is a great day stop on a cruise um, it's got an amazing old city and most cruise ships dock right in the heart of old San Juan which dates back to the 16th century so again full of character day 9 you're going to Charlotte Amelie in St Thomas again here the duty free shopping scene is unparalleled and you've got the world famous beach at, at Magan's Bay I went there on my mum's 70th oh yeah, they lovely will never what a forget. treat it's amazing made, it was amazing yeah and you could do a scenic tram ride right to the top of the mountain top as well then you've got a day at sea to have some fun and some lovely food Food. And then day 11, you're back to Barbados, where unfortunately your cruise comes to an end. But you do have to go home yeah. at some point. Or oh, as Luke said, you know, if you want to spend a few extra days yeah. there, we can Absolutely. do that. Absolutely, make it a two-week holiday. Yeah. Just one thing to point out with all those amazing different destinations is the wide range of shore excursions that are available in all of those swimming with dolphins in different ports. And 
all of these different things that on board Carnival we offer that's maybe less traditional than a, a normal cruise company because we're a very mainstream resort type of, uh, of holiday. You have a real mixture of ages as well on board. Uh, you do, you? absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you'll see actually the youngest average age across any cruise line. Now, um, but great, great mix of people. Just yeah. to remind you, this is an exclusive offer. Look, always really, you know, looks after the Planet Cruise viewers. So exclusive for Planet Cruise right now. Return flights all included. We can actually provide those from most UK airports. Uh, again, just ask our call uh, centre for details. You get an extra three nights in that full-star hotel in Barbados, and only a deposit on selected departure dates as well. But as I say, you know, if you need to change any of the, those, uh, you know, details for extra nights. If you don't want to do the three nights stay in Barbados, we can actually make this bespoke for you, of course, as well. Great prices across there. We have already sold out at the balcony in April. Actually, very good point. On the um, on this cruise, you only have a, a, a relatively small number of cabins available on each date. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. It's what we call a, a split sailing because the the actual sailing would be from San Juan to San Juan. So we uh, we open up uh, a select group of, of cabins purely just to do this Barbados itinerary because it's so popular. But it's also just worth pointing out there, you've got April to November up because of the flights, obviously, 11 months in advance. The cruise element is on sale well into 2016, uh, and Planet Cruise will be able to, to sort that out for you I as well. I want to go. I, I know. Same, same here. Same here. <laughs> Luke, can I say thank you so uh, much? It's thank great you for having me. No, we love you. Have to come back. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Very soon. And um, don't forget, you can book that right now, but obviously limited availability. Now, if you want to be um, part of the show, if you want to stay in touch, there are various ways to do that. You can sign up to our newsletter. You can. Uh, Call us now for your free copy of our journey brochure, or you can check out our brand new website. Our website is so good. It's been new and improved. It's an absolute joy. So do, you know, do check out our website on a regular basis for all the latest deals. Now, talking of deals, we've still got a few more cruises to tempt you with. My, my first cruise was with this company, Royal Caribbean, and uh, I've cruised with them four times and always had a great, great experience. And this one is Amazing at £949. Before we tell you about the itinerary, let's take you on board with Royal Caribbean. So, I mean, what's so great about this show tonight, Sean, is we've really got very different cruises, haven't we, for everybody? We have, we yeah, have. a really lovely selection. Because going on Royal Caribbean is a really unique experience, I think. I think their ships are absolutely... Um, kind of unique. They've got things like rock climbing walls in them and golf courses and so many activities. And they are huge, aren't they? Oh, they, they are. And don't, you know, don't be daunted by some of the bigger ships. Sometimes you think, oh, they're going to be too busy. And, but no, there is so much space on board the larger ships. Yes. Um, and, and what I, I know we've talked about this several times, but you can see the great thing about cruises is you, you're not just stuck in one place for, for your whole holiday. You get to see and experience and do so much. And you can pick and choose, you know. You, you know, if you're with the family, your family might be out and about, you know, out and about at a port. You might decide to spend the day in the spa, you know? Exactly, absolutely. And, you know, the Rhapsody of the Seas, this particular ship, has had a huge refurbishment. Yes, she has, um, she's got she? stunning panoramic, pan, I can't say it, panoramic windows <laughs> um, and is a really popular ship. She's gorgeous, carries 2,500 guests, but really light and airy and beautiful. Now, I do particularly love the itinerary on this one because we're flying yes. you from Gatwick to Istanbul. Um, you transferred from the airport to a hotel for one night stay there. That's right. And then, and I'll tell you what, Istanbul, I mean, it's, it's Yeah, it's you can so see here unusual. from some of the pictures, there's a lot of things to see. The Blue Mosque that we saw a picture of at the beginning, I would say, is a must. And go down to the markets, do some haggling, soak up the atmosphere. Um, you're going to absolutely love it. Great nightlife as well. And you have got a night in the hotel. So if you're not too jaded from your flight, I'd get out and about. And then on um, day three, we're going to transfer you to the port and your cruise will begin because you've got 10 nights cruising at that point. A day at sea to relax and then on day five, you're sailing into Ephesus in Kuzadazi in Turkey, where you need to go and see these amazing ancient ruins. I personally find hit, like ancient history really fascinating because when you're standing there, you kind of get that quite eerie feeling yeah. of who was here hundreds said, and hundreds of years ago. I love that amphitheatre we just saw. That. Yeah, amazing. And if you think of what would have been going on there at the time, and obviously if you do a proper excursion, you're going to really benefit from the history and you can go and visit the House of the Virgin Mary and so on. Day six, we're off to Rhodes, which is 12 miles off oh, the coast of Turkey. I forgot to, um, just quickly though, we actually... Um, 
Oh, we go to Bodrum. Port, yeah. we? Yes, yes, we so did. I beg your pardon. I was getting ahead of myself because, of course, we are sailing to Bodrum in Turkey as well, which is also really spectacular. Look at the coastline there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then after that, we are off to Rhodes. Um, which has got beautiful blue-green waters. You're on the Aegean Sea. It's a tropical paradise. The island features 35 beaches and loads of cultural and historic uh, attractions. After that, day seven, we're then sailing into Santorini, which has got that kind of, after you've done Turkey and Rhodes and everything, now you've got that real little Greek island feel, exactly what you would expect, the whitewashed walls, the blue sky, the little beaches. I, everyone says it's really beautiful, It is, it's place. really, really gorgeous. I've been there and you just never want to leave. It's very romantic and gorgeous. And then day eight, you are sailing to Athens, like you said, this is a great itinerary, isn't it? It's it really part is, of the yeah. world. It's very extensive. So in Athens, more sightseeing that should be done. The Parthenon on the Acropolis. You know, the fact these places are still standing is pretty amazing. The Temple of Zeus you can see there. The old Olympic Stadium. You know, the Greeks were pretty clever back in the day, weren't they? <laughs> they were. Sort of creating civilization and stuff. So it's worth going to see these amazing sites. And Athens now, the whole infrastructure has really improved since they had the Olympics as well. Day nine, Mykonos. Uh, um, another place I love. Yeah, I am going there actually mid-May with some girly friends. So hopefully it'll still be standing uh, by the time <laughs> you get the there. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait to get there. It's supposed to be so fun. I've never oh, been is. before it's, and beautiful. It, it is. It's beautiful. And it's the famous relaxed. Min Wills as well. I'm definitely going to visit those. So it's got a real charm to it. Yeah. And then day ten, we're off to Crete, which I have been to. Stunning beautiful beaches if you can get to Knossos do go and visit there and that's the old Venetian harbour that you can see you've then got a day at sea and then really nice to round off your cruise you sail back into Istanbul and you've got an overnight on board which means you can end your holiday with a really special evening in Istanbul and, um, and I Although I expected Istanbul to be nice, it far exceeded my expectations. Actually. Really? I, yeah. I think for a lot of people it's not necessarily on the hit list and then it's one of those places where they'll go and it's yeah. as kind of interesting as going to Barcelona or somewhere like that. And, and again, if, if you are new to cruising, you have to do it. You know, while the yeah. prices are so good at this time of year. Yeah. Yeah. You know, imagine you know, being, being on these floating resorts with all of these great activities. You might not be interested in rock climbing, don't worry, because yeah. there's a solarium. Yeah. There's the, you know, the beautiful restaurants and bars and chill out areas. There's great entertainment. And yeah. what we're saying, so not just nightly shows, but often there'll be musicians playing or a piano bar where you can just sit and enjoy live yeah, music. Yeah, and amazing childcare as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, really fantastic, especially and, in Royal Caribbean. And if you enjoy food, the standard of food, there's a theatre, by the way, there's the shows, but the standard of food oh, is outstanding. Absolutely incredible. You will have some of the best meals that you've ever had. Yeah. And, and I, I'm not being funny, but I've gone to some quite nice restaurants before, but you have meals on certain cruise lines where you're like, I will never forget that meal. And nothing is too much trouble. You know, if you, if you, some, you know, order a course and you're not keen on it, it will be changed like that. You know, it's, it's brilliant. It really is. Anyway, let's show you what's included. Cause we have got an exclusive on this one, by the way. So it's exclusive to Planet Cruise. You've got uh, return flights from Gatwick. Uh, we can also provide flights from most UK airports, of course. And we have got an alternative sailing available, which is on the 10th of June, which uh, includes two nights stay in Istanbul from only £999 per person. But again, you know, Planet Cruise, they are specialists in not just cruises, but been able to make every holiday bespoke and adding hotel stays and transfers, whatever you need, they, they will include those for you. But we are going to go live to the very, very busy call centre and speak to one of the cruise experts there, Chris. Are you there, Chris? I'm here. Hello, hello. hello. Are, we, uh, are we very busy, I'm gathering? Always, always. We have some great deals on offer for you. But I gather you're going to tell us about a deal that we know... We don't know about this. Is that something that's just come in? Is that right? That's right. We like to surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> we obviously know nothing about this one, no, do we, Gemma? No, no. So, not a clue. enlighten us and our lovely viewers, if you can, Chris. Okay, so this one is the Cunard Queen Victoria. It's sailing on the 28th of May this year, and it's a nine-night fly cruise. Now, Cunard, they currently have their uh, lead in price. The inside price is 8 99 per person. We're going to be selling this to you for six nine nine per person, so it's a two hundred pound saving. Wow! Right, so Chris, just give me the details again. I need to jot this down in my diary. So, what? <laughs> what's the date? 
It was the 28th of May. 28th of May. On the Queen Victoria, so Cunard. Five-star Queen Victoria. That's it, yep. And the uh, inside is starting from only 699 per person. 699. And how many nights was it? Nine nights. Nine nights. Gosh, that's now you can, Yeah, you can fly from London, Gatwick or Heathrow, and that's including that price with the transfers. Manchester is only going to be a £25 per person supplement. Uh, to upgrade to a balcony, only 899 so just £200 extra, and you'll get a balcony for all those nice, uh, nice yeah. days. Now, I want to tell you something, Sean. Last week, I came on the show, and we, we looked at uh, a P&O sailing on Oceania. Do you remember? I, I, I do remember, yeah. We both do. I don't know if you know this, but after the show, we, uh, for the next 24 hours, we sold 10% of that ship just on that one phone call. <laughs> Seriously? Of the whole ship? 10% of it gone, just wow. from uh, and, chatting about it. And that's a big shift. I think the same's going to happen with the, the Cunard deal. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good deal. Thank you so much. It's good to get it as it comes in, isn't it? Is, it is, but uh, you know, we are going to advise, obviously, our viewers to, to call right now to get more information. You've got, it's a free phone number, isn't it, Chris? That's right, yeah, give us a call and we'll be happy to help. Chris, thank you so much. I quite uh, like these surprises. I like them, <laughs> I know. Um, so, uh, thank you, Chris. We will speak to you very soon live yes. on the show. But uh, we, we urge our viewers to give us a call right now to get more information. And as ever, the call centre open until 11 o'clock at night and 8 o'clock first thing in the morning. Now, we have one final cruise, don't we, Gemma? Yes, we do. And this one is with Holland America. Oh, and it's a biggie. It is. Yeah. And it's five star as well. And uh, our lovely Keith Maynard, who you'll see regularly on the Friday shows, is here to tell you more. Amidst the huge choice that's now available within cruising, Honda America Line offers an experience that's quite unique. It's premium class, but not pretentious. It's elite without being expensive. And with a proud history stretching back over 140 years, Honda America Line is perfect for the discerning traveller who loves to see the world from the comfort of an elegant hotel at sea. Known for the most extensive menus at sea, served gracefully in elegant restaurants. Thank you. Honda America Line offer a plethora of excellent dining options. In the main dining rooms, guests may choose from fixed or flexible dining times, and the service is always gracious and the menu both varied and delicious. Fans of Italian food will salivate at the offerings from Canaletto's, and everyone will enjoy the steak and seafood of the wonderful Pinnacle Grill. Enjoying a few drinks in the company of friends, both old and new, is one of the highlights of any cruise. For some, it might be a glass of bubbly or a tasty martini in mix, whilst for others, a pre-show tipple in the ocean bar will be just what the doctor ordered. Whichever location you choose, expert bartenders will remember your preferred cocktail or they'll help you discover a new favourite. Honda America's latest trump card is On Location, which brings the ports you visit alive through regionally inspired cookery classes, artisan workshops and local entertainment. You can experience steel drum lessons in the Caribbean or Tai Chi classes in Asia or a legendary ketchup dance in Bali. The evenings on board glitter with so many choices, with live music, thrilling stage shows, and the ever-popular Dancing with the Stars at Sea program. Bored? <laughs> Not a chance. It's about getting the little things right, and nowhere is this more obvious than the accommodation. All Honda America Line staterooms have premium plush Eurotop mattresses, 100% Egyptian cotton bed linens, extra fluffy towels, and deluxe terry bathrobes. Recent additions include innovative massage shower heads, lighted magnifying makeup mirrors, and stylish hair dryers. And of course, your complimentary fruit basket. <laughs> that, crunch, that, was a, that was a very good crunch. After um, the day. Anyway, that's our lovely Keith there. <laughs> Five star luxury Holland America. Now, this is a wonderful itinerary, so I'm going to hand over to you, Gemma. Okay. And talk us through. So, we are flying off to Santiago, and then we're going to transfer you to a hotel for a two night stay, which is obviously all included. Um, Santiago, beautiful city. You've got these big, tall buildings with these mountains in the background. Um, it's a sprawling city. There's a river wandering through it, so you'll need a good map to get your bearings, and then off you go sightseeing. There's historic squares, green parks, lovely shops, wonderful restaurants. You're not going to be short of stuff to look at. And then on day four, we're going to transfer you from the hotel to the port where you'll embark the ship for 14 nights cruising. Um, you have got an overnight on board as well, so you can kind of get your bearings. Yeah. And if you want to go out again, you can. And then day five, you sail off and you are at sea. 
uh, so that day six you sail into Puerto Mont. So after cruising up the coast from Puerto Punta Arenas or down the coast, you've got this beautiful opportunity in Puerto Mont to go hiking or to try fly fishing or white water rafting. Depends how active you are. We could just go for a walk, but it's really <laughs> beautiful. That sounds good. Just go for a stroll. And then day seven, we're in Puerto Chacabuco, um, where you could do a little catamaran tour, um, which would take you right up to a famous glacier that they've got there. Just indescribable, just beautiful scenery. Day eight, you're sailing through the Chilean fjords. You know, you're really exploring this part of the world. Day nine, you're going to sail through the Canal Sarmiento as well. And then on day 10, you're in the Straits of Magellan and you are arriving at Punta Arena. So again, these, you're going, basically, you're going to be going right round the bottom of Cape Horn. And again, so many people have this on the wish list. Yeah, absolutely. They? Especially anybody that is interested in maritime history. Yeah. It's famous. You know, in the old days, it was a lot more difficult to sail around these parts. Now with these amazing cruise ships, it's easy. So yeah, Punta Arenas, you're definitely going to see a few penguin colonies with a bit of luck. Um, absolutely beautiful and then day 11 you are going to be sailing to Ushuaia which is I think it's the southernmost city I'd have to look it up but yeah it's pretty exciting and then day 12 you are going more scenic cruising around Cape Horn which as I say back in the 17th century or something would have been treacherous but not anymore but it's still a good thing to say that you've done and then day 13 you're going to sail to Stanley which is of course in the Falkland Islands very famous obviously because of the war, and there is a museum that you could go and visit there. Again, it's like a place I've always wanted more. to yeah, visit. Yeah, it's a historical place, and more penguins. Lots of penguins <laughs> in, this, in this part of the world. You'd be counting them. You'll be When you go to sleep, instead of counting sheep, it'll be penguins. Um, day 14 and 15, you're at sea, soaking up the beautiful, you know, uh, uh, ambience of the ship, sailing on the ocean wave. Day 16, Montevideo in Uruguay. You must go to the Plaza Independence there where you've got the big famous statue. It's really seen to be believed. You could go and do some wine tasting or organise a good excursion here just by night. Look how stunning it is. And then on day 17, as if you haven't been to enough places, um, you are going to Buenos Aires and you've got an overnight on board in, of course, this is Argentina. Um, so make the most of that. Buenos Aires, you know, it's often called like the Paris of South America. It's a very romantic place. You know, in parts of it, you'll see people literally tangoing in the street. You can sing a bit of a Vita as you go around as no, well. Every time we do this cruise, I always have a Vita. In my head, <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, you've got all the different districts as well that you can visit, like the old district or just stay around the harbour. And, and uh, Gemma mentioned overnight on board on the ship, which you've got, but you also get an extra two nights stay in a fantastic hand yes. four star hotel as exactly. well. Exactly. So we're going to transfer you to that. And then once you You've enjoyed your couple of extra days in Buenos Aires. At that point, we transfer you to the and airport and you fly home. And so this has been a, a top seller on the show in the past, incredibly popular. Um, Holland America, again, five-star company. They've got an amazing reputation in the industry. Not only um, impeccable standards, but beautiful ships. Very you know, elegant. They are, yeah, aren't they? Very they're elegant, sort of very, you've got that touch of tradition and yet obviously every modern facility that you could want and comfort, but very beautiful, isn't it? And generally it? speaking, uh, slightly more intimate ships, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Great atmosphere. You know, again, you know, I know we say this about a lot of the cruise lines, but the food is fantastic. It is. And it believe is. you me, I love my food and it is so important and you will just eat so well. Absolutely amazing. Great entertainment as well. Well, um, I don't know where the time's gone, but let's quickly show you. Oh, the piano bar, we just saw that. I love the piano mm. bar for the uh, cruise ships. But this is what's included. Great dates to choose from right now. Uh, the lead price at under 2200 And that's all of your return flights. Again, we can always find flights from most UK airports, so just ask our cruise experts about those. You get an extra two nights stay in four-star hotels in Santiago and Buenos Aires and... Uh, if you are looking at some of the different dates, the itineraries will operate in reverse there. And only a deposit needed on selected departure dates as well. Now, price-wise, uh, what I'm really impressed with, there's not too much difference between the interior and the ocean view on a lots of those dates. So, again, just ask our cruise consultants and they will talk you through more. Right. I think I'd like a balcony on that to look out for penguins. It would be. <laughs> not. Actually, the balconies are selling really well because one of them's uh, it's, uh, already sold out, actually. But anyway, I need to, I need to remind you of all the, uh, the offers that we've had live this hour. So we started off with, of course, Cruise and Maritime. This one has a saving of up to 40% off right now. 
and you only need to pay a deposit right now of £150 per person. Great single price of 759 on that one. We've had, we've had an exceptionally busy show, by the way. Then we moved on to MSC. How about getting away? Uh, not just getting away, but virtually guaranteed great weather here because we're making our way over, of course, to Dubai and the Emirates. Now, great dates for either the end of this year or early on next year. A free uh, Cheers drinks package. That's going to be on a, an ocean view rather than a balcony now. So ocean view above, you'll get the drinks package. Return flights. Again, we can find those from Manchester or Glasgow if you prefer. And some lovely prices on the Christmas and New Year sailings as well. We uh, then... Ah, we moved on to Princess Cruises. Now, ah, big this, news on this one. Yes. The, the price has just come down in the last 24 hours, so it's now 849. But Gem has just reminded me that children can actually travel with you for 99 pounds. 99 pounds a child, which I think for families, it yeah. makes a huge difference. You know what it's like when you want to go with the whole family and you've got to pay for so 99 pounds a child. That's an attempt to do, hasn't it?